but usually what happens is that also your muscles contract to hold it together also depending on the injury you have had so let me give some examples so for example if you're going to get some uh, rehab exercises that's more uh, for strength training then you will you are probably seeing all these exercises where you have internal and external rotation with your arm which is mainly for the shoulder so you train all the supportive muscles for your sh shoulder basically also a lot of people ha have used them to uh, to just put in their daily routine so you can use all these exercises to add into your daily routine add it into your warm-up so you actually are strengthening these exercises because it's not only exercises that are good for when you get uh, or after the injury but it's actually also good before so you can prevent the injury and that's a key aspect and for example so i dislocated my right shoulder so what happened is it got very tight as all the muscles as the arm just pull out then all the muscles get super stretched and they, they just try to hold the shoulder together and then when it's back it's, everything is just like cramped together and uh, lose the mobility as everything is just tightened up so what I have to do is I have to do some these uh, uh, training exercises with the resistance bands where you do internal and external rotations and in that way you can get a stronger uh, shoulder again and it will keep the shoulder in place another example is for example if you have knee pain then uh, then it usually the pain is usually not where you have it is from other places so if you have knee pain for example it can a uh, be a cause from a uh, weak hamstrings, glutes, uh, and tip raises. And what actually helps you recover from it is actually start training these muscles, and especially glutes, hamstrings, and tip raises. They are only muscles we do to stop when we are walking or when we are running. So they are not as developed as our quads and as our calf muscles. And you can especially feel it because a weak muscle, a super weak muscle tends also to be very over tight. So you can feel if you get a massage, you can feel that it is super and super tight and very much over tight. And for example, for me, I actually end up with the lower back pain just for getting a, a bit of release from over tight hamstrings but I will come into that later 